Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy baby diaper cover. It's super easy to make, it's not so difficult. It's a beginner friendly baby diaper cover. For the waistline, I add about five centimeter and you can see my two stitches where I put my elastic. For the leg hole, I add about three and a half centimeter and you can also see my two stitch line where i put my elastic it's super easy to make it's not so difficult if you're a beginner you will really enjoy making this baby diaper cover and it's for 12 to 18 months i will upload the pattern paper on my website you can go there and print out your pattern paper and make yours for yourself Please support by subscribing and also click the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. If you have any question, put it on the comment section if you're just stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch the tutorial to the end so that you can understand how I make this cute baby diaper cover. So let's get started. already cut my fabric this is how it is and what you have to do you just open your fabric like this both front of the fabric are facing each other this is the front and this is the back so I put them into two like this instead of me cutting four pieces I just cut two pieces two pieces of fabric together so what you're going to do you are going to pin them together take the front just pin it all the way down to this end right here and you come to the back you just go ahead and pin it all the way down to this end so go ahead and pin that in place and then we can take it to our sewing machine and top stitch once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down to the end right here you also come down to this point give it a top stitch all the way down to the end right here once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges my seam allowance is one centimeter so go ahead and top stitch I have given it a top stitch this is how it is and I also overlock the raw edges the next thing that you have to do open your baby diaper cover put them together like this you see the way it is just go ahead and put them together you can pin that in place continue pinning i have pinned it in place this is how it is right now the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down my seam allowance is one centimeter once you have done with that also go ahead and overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges once you have done with that also take your waistline to your soldier or your overlock sewing machine go ahead and overlock the raw edges of the waistline and you will also overlock the raw edges of the leg hole i have top stitch this is how it is and I take it to my sojo. I just overlock all the raw edges. This is how it look. The next thing that you have to do, you take your baby romper to your ironing board. You fold inside three and a half centimeter. So you put your measuring tape, you fold inside three and a half centimeter. Make sure you press it very, very well. And you just go ahead and make sure you measure it all around. And you come to the other leg hole you do the same thing 
measure inside three and a half centimeter. For the waistline, you also go ahead, measure inside five centimeter. So when you're doing this, make sure you measure it, you just iron it all around. And you can also see that the waistline right here, I take it to my soldier, I just overlock all the raw edges. Make sure you should do the same, overlock all the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock all the raw edges. And you do the same thing with the leg hole. So what you're going to do, first thing you're going to stitch very close to the overlock stitch thread. You stitch it all the way around, make sure to leave a gap so that you can put your elastic. So I will leave a gap about one and a half centimeter. So I will leave a gap about one and a half centimeter where I will put my elastic. Then we have to measure it again where the elastic will finally go through. But first thing, just go ahead and top stitch very close to the overlock stitch thread all around. And you do the same thing on the leg hole. Top stitch very close to overlock stitch thread all around. So go ahead and stitch that in place and then we can finally stitch it all over where we will put our elastic. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it finally look right now. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you take your measuring tape from the very top of your stitch line. This is my stitch line right here. So you are going to measure one centimeter. From the very top of your stitch line, you place your measuring tape right there, you measure one centimeter. You just go ahead and measure it all around the waistline. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it all the way around. And then you come down to the leg hole from the very top of your stitch line, measure up one centimeter and stitch it all around. You do the same thing with the other leg hole. Once you have done with that, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all around. This time you are not leaving any gap, you just stitch it all around. So this is my elastic that I'm going to put on the waistline and on the leg hole. My elastic is not up to one centimeter. So that is why I measure one centimeter from my stitch line up. So I have a gap right there so, so that my elastic can have enough room to move around. But if you are using uh, elastic that is bigger than the one that I'm using, make sure to leave a gap so that your elastic can move around when you're putting it on your baby diaper cover. So go ahead and measure that all around from your stitch line, measure all around one centimeter. You did the same thing on the leg hole, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all around. Once you have done with that, then we can put our elastic inside this gap that we left open. That is why we left this gap open at the first place when we stitch it all around. So go ahead and stitch that in place. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it look right now. You can see my two stitch line right here. And I did the same thing with the leg hole. You can see my two stitch line right there. The next thing that you have to do, place a pin on your elastic and put it around the waistline and also around the leg hole. I will just turn it like this, place my elastic inside and I will just keep pushing it all around. Just go ahead and do the same thing and then I will meet you when I am done. I have put the elastic around the waistline. I just use my pin to secure that in place so that it doesn't go inside. This is how it is right now. The next thing for you to do is to also go ahead and put your elastic on the both leg hole. Place your pin inside 
and remember your open gap just go ahead and put your elastic around the leg hole I am done putting my elastic around the waistline and the leg hole. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine and just stitch your elastic in place to secure the elastic. Once you have done stitching, push it inside the leg hole. Just push it inside and stitch along the open gap. You did the same thing on the other side. So you take your waistline elastic, go ahead, top stitch, push it inside and stitch the open gap. The measurement of my elastic, the, for the waistline, I measure 18 inch. For the leg hole, I measure 11 inch. This baby diaper cover that I'm making right here is for 12 to 18 months. So go ahead and stitch your elastic in place and stitch around the open gap. I have stitched it in place. This is the final look of this baby diaper cover, or you can also call it baby diaper bloomer. Thank you all so much for watching. If my tutorial has been helpful, thumbs up, make a comment down below if you have any questions. And you all should have a blessed day. Bye.